Hello, in this session we're taking our PBR textures and we're taking them a step further and adding displacement. If you're looking for how to set up your PBRs within Blender, click on the card in the corner now. This is a slightly more advanced version and we're using the displacement map. Remember, for more videos, take a look at gabbit.co.uk for free courses aimed at the complete beginner right through to advanced levels. Now you'll notice there's a displacement option in the material output. I've done some research on this, but I haven't found that I can get it to work so I'm not going to go through that and it's not really necessary because this process does the same thing and is a bit more simple. So I'll be going through the displacement modifier and how you can tile it within the texture tab. So here's a really nice texture from 3dtextures.me. If you're looking for lots of PBR textures, that's a great site and click on the card in the corner because I've got six great sites for you in that video. So here's the downloaded file and often you have a displacement texture as well as your color normal and roughness. I'm not going to go through the occlusion, it doesn't make a lot of difference in this case. So how do we use the displacement? Here's the finished result and you can see the displacement is actually affecting the mesh and it's all nice and bumpy. So let's start again without any displacement. I'll very quickly go through what's happening. So we've got the color which will look like that and the light shining on it. The roughness will make a fair bit of difference to how glossy it is and this texture has a bit of water in it as well and then the normals make a bit of bumpiness which is great but you don't get that really realistic bump which actually changes the mesh which is called a displacement map the first thing i need to do is add a subdivision surface modifier so i go to the spanner click on add modifier subdivision surface if i go into edit mode shift z to come out of render mode tab to go into edit mode and you can see I've subdivided this a small amount, but it's nowhere near enough to make all the bobbly bits for the pebbles. So I need a subdivision surface modifier, and that will increase the subdivisions. If I come out of edit mode and go to wireframe mode with Z, you can see I'm increasing the topology, which will mean the mesh can deform with my displacement. The next thing to do is to add a displacement. So I go to add modifier, deform, displace. Now it jumps up, but don't worry about that at the moment. What we need to do is add a texture in here. So if I click new, it's added texture. And to change and edit this texture, I need to go to the texture panel over here. And then in the drop down list, there should be a displace. There it is. Click on open, or if you've already dragged it in, which I have into here and deleted from my node editor, you should be able to find your pebbles displacement. And you can see instantly it changes the mesh. I go back to rendered mode, shift Z, it's displacing it a great deal. So let's go back to our modifier under the modifiers panel and change the strength down. And I'm going to type in 0.1. That's not bad. It's still a bit blocky. So I need to turn my subdivision surface modifier up one. And that's looking great. You can see all the mesh working in the background. Lovely stuff. Now that's all great. But what if I've got a seamless mesh and I want to tile it? So move those across. I've got the node wrangler add-on working so I can press Control T over this. It brings up my texture coordinates and mapping. If you haven't got that you go to file, user preferences and add-ons and type in node or wrangler and make sure it's ticked and Control T on any of your textures and it will bring up the texture mapping coordinates. This way I can tile it by pressing 2 in the X and Y. Don't need to do the Z and you can see it's tiled the color. Let's just quickly hook that up to the roughness and the normals, which is great, but my displacement isn't tiled. So what I need to do to tile my displacement is go back to the texture for the displacement and come down here to the image mapping and press two and two for repeat. There we go. And of course, it's extra bumpy now, so we need to halve the displacement map. So back to our modifiers to the strength 0 0.05. There we go. So that's displacement maps. Do be aware, of course, that this will increase render times and your processor and graphics card have to work very hard. So it's best to turn down the subdivisions in the view, which will look a bit strange and make sure they're up in the render. Remember, for more videos, take a look at gabbit.co.uk for free courses aimed at the complete beginner right through to advanced levels.